All right, so I'm back, and today we are going to take a look at TFC008 Wings of Uranus. Um, <laughs> now, I have this. Um, I do not, I, I actually only have one of the uh, aerial bots, but um, what I want to do today is review this set on its own. Um, just like I review each combiner limb um, on their own and give them a rating and uh, as an individual bot as opposed to uh, you know as, as opposed to you know oh I'm, I'm gonna rate this as how it would be in a combined mode I, I you know I, I want to review this and let you know if the set is any good if you don't have the Urno set so, with that being said, we'll uh, get this thing open up and see how cool it is, um, or how cool it's not, um, and we'll just kind of see what's going on. Um, and, and then as I go, I will be, when I review the other jets, because um, I only have one now, but I, I, I am planning on getting the whole set, but as I review the jets... Um, I will review the jets as is, and then add on the parts from the uh, Uranus kit uh, if it goes to them or not. Um, so, um, let me grab Hercules real quick, because I think we'll need him. Uh, can't believe I forgot to grab Hercules. Uh, Alright. All right. <coughs> so, um, and, and unlike the um, Rage of Hercules kit, I, I actually think, you know, because this set will add on this whole chest piece, the mouthpiece, uh, the gun, um, stuff like that. I, I honestly think that this one is ne a necessity for the set. Um, so I didn't want it. I, I, I mean, that's the other reason why I bought it is I didn't want to. Uh, get to that point where it's like, okay, now I need the uh, upgrade kit, and it's like, it's no longer available like the Rage of Hercules is. So I'll open this up, take a look at what we got inside. So we got these uh, trays here. Um, and it also comes with this uh, cardboard outline. Thingy um, no, no instructions. So you just kind of have to wing it. Uh, and I did not mean that as a pun. So, uh, so here we've got uh, the uh, chess piece. Um, there's really no use of it <laughs> without the actual set. Um, there are ways you can configure it. Um, you know, you can fold these pieces down. Um, this piece can come off. I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure if it's meant to come off or if it's just whatever. It, it's just kind of friction on there. There's a little paint blemish there. That's kind of terrible. Um, but it's friction's on there with these and it's got two parts too. Um, and we have a big gun. Um, this is clearly for Uranus. That's his big gun. Um, cool. And we also got this little crotch plate, which, you know, obviously does not come in any use whatsoever until you have the, uh, full set. But you can, uh... I don't know if you're supposed to, but you can plug it into the back of this gun. And then you can actually take this gun and through this port here, plug it into this hole back here. And now you got some sort of wing uh, thingamabopper. So there's that. Um, let's see, what else do we got? Over here we also got guns, lots of 
We got four different little guns here. Um, and clearly these are for each individual jet. So, um, but you know, if you're looking at just getting a set, um, you can't take these guns and just give them to anybody you want. They are the standard five millimeter port. Um, so anybody can hold them. So, I mean, if you're looking for just some guns, you know, it is an option. Um, also, let's take this apart here again. Um, there's a port up here that would work, but also down here, um, you can hold this out and it's got this big port. Or you can fold it the other way and it's got a much smaller port. And with the smaller port, again, it's just the uh, a five millimeter port and you can just plug it into somebody's hand if, they, if you want them to have just a ridiculously huge cannon. Um, so, I mean, you got options there, um, so you can, you, you, you do have things you can do. Um, and then this can unplug from here, these can unplug from here, and then you got just kind of like a core gun, and then if you wanted to, you can, I guess you could plug all these little guns on the side, and, I don't know. <laughs> Um, and I don't have the Rage of Hercules kit, but I think this is the same base gun that uh, that comes with. Uh, I think from pictures I've seen. But uh, if you guys have Rage of Hercules and and it is the same, let me know. I'm, I'm kind of interested to know. Um, so, big gun. Um, again, you can take this off and just make it a regular big gun. And the reason why I brought Hercules out is I wanted to see if you can take this. You can. And so if you want to, you can actually have Hercules hold this gun. Um, I'd probably replace the uh, red one before I would the purple one, but it is an option. So, it's a very versatile kit so far. Um, I actually, I actually kind of like it. Um, so, there's that. Uh, again, the crotch piece, I mean, I mean, this can kind of double as a wing, but uh, the crotch peach really can't do anything. So uh, there, there's just there's no purpose to this without the rest of those boxes. Um, the guns you can use for other things, and then we get to this other little tray here. And like I said, you know, I mean, I, I know everyone who's reviewed this kit shows it off in the. Uh, combined mode but uh, I just I don't have it yet and like I said I want to review this set as if you were never going to get it um, like if you wanted to get the set just by itself so here is a this is a I think a Nyx uh, extender or filler for the um, the actual um, combined mode um, and this one is another little I think it's a neck extender. I don't know if it works in tangent with this, or if maybe there's another, or maybe like this one goes on the uh, silver bolt. Uh, it's really kind of hard to see because it's very white. Um, but so these have uh, absolutely no purpose if you don't have the set. Um, and then we got this little mouthpiece here. Um, Again, this is something that will have absolutely no use unless you start buying the actual things that they're supposed to upgrade. And then we got these little missile pods. Um, and they're just held together by these little clips. Um, so that's cool. Um, I don't know. I, I guess maybe people were complaining that they... Uh, that the other missiles were too big or something. I don't know. Um, 
from the one I have, I'm per perfectly happy with them. Um, but uh, there is that. Um, so there's uh, two of each missile pods. Doesn't really hold these ones very tightly. Um, this one ho holds them pretty well, but this one. I don't know, maybe I broke it. <laughs> yeah. So, it's two of each type. So, here's the first set. Here is the second set. And, of course, I dropped one. So, here's the second set here. And the third set. And the fourth set. So, yeah, they're just little missile pods. Um, yeah, I mean, if you have, like, Metroplex or something like that in city mode, you know, you could probably, because uh, he's got a lot of little ports all over the place, you could probably port these in. Um, or if you uh, got some Seekers, these are just the 5 millimeter ports. So you can plug these under the wing, and that actually looks really good on him. Um... The, the null rays are just overly huge. Um, so these actually kind of look cool, um, look more realistic. Because um, you wouldn't really have such massive missiles hanging out underneath the wings. Um, so that's kind of cool. So. And I suppose, I mean, if you wanted to, you could plug these into their arms. I don't know why you would. That just looks that looks stupid, but um, it does. It doesn't look bad on the uh, underside of the wings. Um, it, it really doesn't. Um, so, as far as this kit goes, so again, to just show it all off one more time, you got the big the BFG. You got the uh, chest plate, which. Like I said, you can bind it into like a wing. You got crotch plate piece that doesn't do any good. Um, neck extenders, face extender, or face plate. You get four pistols that anybody with the standard five millimeter port can hold. And you get four sets of missiles which any um, five millimeter port can hold um, so you can put it into like I said jets um, helicopters uh, you, you, you can really just I mean use your own imagination and put them wherever um, so the set was fifty dollars um, is it worth it um, you know, I, I actually, you know, I've spent more money on less accessories, so, um, I, 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 I'm going to say it, it kind of is. If you have no intention of getting the wings of Uranus, Uranus, or, or the, the actual Uranus figures, um, I, I, I probably would still pick this up, uh, personally, um. I mean, everyone's different, but I mean, I, I actually kind of enjoy having, you know, a bunch of pistols laying around that I can use wherever. Um, I mean, I could put these in with the, um, with the Seekers if I wanted to. Um, no, no problems there at all. Um, this big gun, you know, like, I mean, I would probably throw that stuff away. The, the wing, the crotch plate, and the extenders in the faceplate but everything else here I would keep uh, and and these you know like I said this I'd probably just put into give the Hercules um, give him a big black gun um, or anybody can really hold it um, I still haven't put them back together from the review of Airburst but here's Bruticus holding the he can't hold it. Let's see, maybe. 
No, he can't hold it. Which is weird because he's got a five millimeter port hand. Oh, oh it's the way it's cut. It won't let him hold it. I was gonna say that'd be cool to give my false Cybertron Verticus a kind of a pistol thing. So, but uh, yeah, so I, I think it's a I think it's a good kit. Um, for rating, I'm probably gonna give it a uh, you know as is. I give it a five out of ten. Um, I mean, it's not like you must go buy it if you're just like, oh man, I, you know, I just want some extra accessories or these accessories just happen to tickle your fancy, then yeah, by all means, pick it up. Um, it's not one to run out and, and buy it, um, just, just to have it. Um, but I mean, if, if you do have it, you know, it's, it's a good, it's a good little kit. Um, I, I am having fun with it. Um, I will be trying to find uh, places to put everything. Um, trying to put it away too while I'm talking. <laughs> um, leave these ones out. But uh, and, and as I like I said, as I go with the uh, um, whenever I get a new Uranus figure, I will. Uh, bring this kit out again or at least the parts that correspond with the individual figures uh, and go from there um so yeah um my question of the day is going to be as most of you know i'm really low on figures so I'm, I'm always open for just suggestions for people to do re-reviews on. Um, so my question is, does anybody want me to do a re-review on either of these two uh, in their entirety? Or him? Just one, one at a time until we get to the completion. Um, so yeah, that's, that's the question. I, I mean, I kind of want to do... Uh, reviews of both of these guys, Predaking and Minasaur, um, all back to back. Because um, a lot of Minasaur was done, I think, with Tommy. Um, but it was also done back in my old setup. Same with uh, most of Predaking. So, if you guys are interested, just let me know uh, which one. Uh, I, I'll probably do them both. I just don't know which one to do first. And there's Airburst in the back there. Um, I, and like I said, he looks awesome. He just he's got so many problems, but he just looks great. Um, so anyway, that's uh, that's that's the Wings of Uranus kit.